Howdy folks, Elk Rex here, and well, it is finished with the American Infantry box, which is this little bugger right here, Warlord Games, American Infantry, 25 plastic miniatures, all done up. Put that off to the side. <clears throat> well, you know, took a little bit of while to get these done kind of busy with everything that's going on around here and just explain that uh here it is i guess this is wednesday morning now it's 1 30 in the morning and we got the uh, tomorrow morning the iowa state fair starts and i'll be busy for 10 days parking cars in my yard so i make a lot of money doing that let's put it that way so keeps me busy but on to what matters with this video just to let you know that a hey, i'm going to be gone for you know if, if you don't see any videos for uh any painting stuff going on you understand why because i have very little time uh free to actually paint and i do have for those of you, if you're watching this and you're also watching my Battletech videos, I have some in the can and they're already uploaded and they're just ready to be released. So I have those all ready to go. So there won't be no content coming out. There'll be some stuff here and there. I just can't guarantee you're going to see any painting stuff. But, alright, on to that. So what we have here is the 25 miniatures from Warlord Games for their bolt action system. And these are my American GIs. And I'll just start off right here. This is my medic. He's all ready to go. Now, I've been thinking about maybe if I can find some way, maybe use some paper or something or something like that. Roll it up and put like there's... Uh, bandages at his feet that he's using i've been th well, thought about doing that if i get the time i might do it then i have my two bazooka teams so there's one member with the bazooka and then you have the guy behind him is also kneeling that has the the shell ready to rock so we have those two teams, one one kneeling, one standing. <clears throat> now, my only complaint I have with the Warlord game plastics, they may have gotten better with maybe the later editions of, uh, I didn't hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's 1.30 in the morning and we got hundreds of cars running around outside, so it's <laughs> busy, busy. Is that... Um, the plastics themselves, uh, here's like the BAR, there's not a lot of details, you know, I'm on them, so you don't have a lot of creases and crevices to get a lot of detail into the miniature. Just let that be known. But overall, they're not bad. They get the job done. You know, who can complain about the price? So if you're worried about... Um, picking them up they're they're good they're, i'm saying they're they're not crap or anything they're not it's just that i wish just wish there was a little bit more detail because you know i'm a painter i like bringing out the detail on miniatures it's just my only complaint that i have now, this is like a sergeant or a lieutenant that reminds me i probably should put on some officer identification on some of the the helmets <clears throat> you know like this guy right here he's saying halt something ahead type deal so that might be something i should do before i seal these guys up here's a guy that's tossing a grenade uh you now some of I have one squad that has, uh, this is the one BAR with the, uh, they have backpacks on. 
So I got one squad with backpacks and the other squad does not have them. And there's a sergeant with a Tommy gun, Thompson machine submachine gun. Uh, there's another one. Where is he at? Here he is. This guy's kneeling, laying it down. Get some. So within the kit, there's a whole bunch of different variety of stuff you can do. So there are a lot of details. This guy's ready to stick skewer somebody. Kind of pokey pokey. No, I did not give any uh, blood to the blood god putting this um, set of miniatures together. No blood drawn on any of these. So, there's that. And then, do, 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 do. got that done. Sneak this in at the end. Yep, I got the uh, BA-6 uh, Soviet armored car put together. It took, I had to use some green stuff in some places because it just wouldn't, you know, they got had a little spot you were supposed to put the uh, footrest for climbing in and it wouldn't stay, so I ended up green stuffing it. And I put a little green stuff, since I had, or had to use green stuff, I put the green stuff on the tires to hold them in place. Went, uh, got it all together, but it's a nice little kit. I like these. It's got some nice heft to it. Went together nicely, so I'll get that primed tomorrow. If I do work on anything, it'll probably be that. And if I do work on stuff, it's going to be late night. So, all right. If you got any questions or anything about the uh, kit, just let me know, and I'll try to put it uh, answer them best I can. And if you got any questions about what I use for painting, I was using the U.S. paint set with all the paints. One of these days, I might have to get some. I went through a lot of it painting up my Americans here. But it's basically Vallejo paints, I believe. So, all right. You guys have a good one, and I'll talk with you later.